the Material Girls. This is Sherry. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your product. I personally have one of their quilts, and I love it, and I'm fascinated um, by the product that you use. Tell me a little bit about how you get your material and how you make these quilts. Well, we get a lot of discontinued samples. We'll go ask the, there's fabric stores in Spokane, and um, fabrics that have been ready to be thrown out in bags, we'll salvage those mm -hmm. as well as we do buy some material actually mm -hmm. to, you know, to complement the others. But we buy a lot of recycled materials or, or, or collect them from folks that are going to throw them in the dumpster. So basically you know? a lot of this material we're keeping out of our landfill and you're turning it into exactly. an absolutely beautiful product. Exactly. Now how long have you been making these quilts? I've been doing it for about seven years. I actually worked at a furniture store when I was in graduate school mm -hmm. and I was making runners out of the material that was being discontinued. Okay. And the reps was were, were thankful because they didn't have to come and pick it up and throw it away. Yeah. And then it kind of evolved from there and I started making quilts for family members and I actually made one for my girlfriend when she was having some surgery and then my husband said you know you've given them to all the family members why don't you sell these <laughs> and you know I believe in recycling I believe that we need to take care of our earth and the less things that go in the landfill the better and now from landfill to somebody's bed yeah and the, I, I I'm thrilled about that I'm thrilled because I enjoy it every <laughs> <laughs> That's Every great. night, you know. I'm <laughs> I, looking forward to my second one that I purchased. Good, good. Um, now, tell me, how many years have you been here at the Kootenai County Farmers Market? I am guessing this is probably our fifth year here. And so we look to uh, forward to a long future, I hope. Yes, we were actually invited this year to become members. We're associate members now. Well, congratulations, um, Sherry, for you to be invited to be a member of this farmers market. Um, tell us a little bit about just how important that is and, and what that means. It's very important. For one thing, I don't feel like I want to bring my quilts and I believe they're high end and I, I, I'm proud of the fact that I the materials recycled. And I, I want to be someplace that, um, I want to be at a farmers market that they are cognizant of the agricultural piece of it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, you know, from earth to, you know, to somebody's plate. Mm -hmm. And I want the products that are being sold here, agricultural as well as crafters, to have the same, the same uh, attitude, you know, and uh, for the culture that's being presented here. Absolutely. You know, and I think it, it goes across all barriers. You know, when you come here, you want all crafters to have that, um, that attitude that the earth is important and we need to maintain you know our earth and we need to take care of it and, and to be able to have, bring a recycled product mm -hmm. and not just go to and I, and I don't have anything against other crafters but I think we need to be cognizant of that absolutely especially this farmers market absolutely and that's why I'm here I, I'm very proud to be able to um, to be asked to come, to be invited to be part of this, That's wonderful. this market. That's wonderful. Because it is important here at Kootenai County Farmers Market that the agriculture ratio is very high. Um, they want to make sure that everyone understands this is not a flea market. Um, this is about the local farmers. Mm -hmm. um, this is about, you know, from, from growing the food to your plate, like you say. And um, so it speaks um, very well of Sherry and her product that she's been invited here. Um, amongst all the wonderful agriculture that we have to offer. Sherry, um, kind of give me an idea in your opinion, since you have participated in many farmers markets, mm -hmm. can you kind of give me an idea about the difference between the Kootenai County Farmers Market and some of the others that you've participated mm -hmm. in in the past? Okay, I've been to several farmers markets on the west side, up, at, up north in uh, Linwood as well as um, in Ballard. Mm -hmm. And the farmers market here I feel like it's very community oriented. I, the people come here. I, I mean, there seems to be such an electricity in the air, and people seem to be all bought into this market, mm -hmm. and 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 bought into the success of this market. I feel like that's going on in Seattle, but it's you know Seattle, you're it's a bigger it's a bigger city, right, right, and more dispersed in there, and um, it works for them. But when I come back here, I feel like I've come home. And wouldn't you agree that this year just everything seems to be booming? It just seems like. Uh, participation is high. It seems like uh, all the vending spots are, are full. It just mm -hmm. seems like we really have a very successful year uh, already so soon. I've seen that. 
This this farmer's market, I've actually seen it evolve from the five years that I've been coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we have more food vendors. Uh, we have the most incredible uh, agricultural vendors. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are awesome. Yeah. You know, from the flowers to the food to the, our, you know, even the bakeries. I mean, it's, right. it's just phenomenal. We do have, by the way, the largest cinnamon roll in the world. We do yes, sell the largest cinnamon <laughs> rolls known to man. We'll show you those someday. But yeah, right. so I, I think you're right. And and for it to be so vibrant so early in the season, I think uh, tells us that we're going to have a very good season this year. It speaks volumes about this market, I believe. Kootenai County is one of the most uh, community-oriented you know, areas in northern Idaho anyway. And mm -hmm. then to have this market be so prosperous and booming, it's just, it, it feels really good to be a part of it. If you, you do. You <laughs> feel blessed to be <laughs> able do. to be here, don't you? I, I, I know really I do. Blessed. I do, and have such a great spot. I mean, we do feel blessed, and we really appreciate the work that the market manager does and all mm -hmm. the folks that get involved. Yes, because that's not an easy job. It's not an easy you job. You know, making something, the, the creating the ambiance um, that they have here and attracting all the wonderful agriculture. Absolutely. That's, that's no easy feat. No, it isn't. So she does a wonderful job. She does. So, Sherry, thank you again for your time. I've really enjoyed talking good, to you. You too as well. Thank you so much.